and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my kicks. What is going on YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber, me and my kicks coming at you with another detailed review and on foot of the Nike Air Max Plus Frequency Pack Edition, man. Stay tuned. As always, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Also comment down below what's your favorite colorway in the Nike Air Max Pluses. It could be these, the all whites, all blacks, whatever, man. Just comment that down below and we can chop it up in the comment section. I got my mans on the show. His name is Brandon. Brandon, give him all your social media info. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Brandon underscore Robinson 922. Also on Snapchat at EST underscore 92295. Got you. Go ahead, follow him whenever you can. Also, let him know how he did in this video. Just comment that down below how he did. He would appreciate it and I would appreciate it. Now, enough talking. Let's get into these kicks, man. Getting into the details of the shoe, the shoe comprises of like a nylon mesh upper. And then as you can see, you have this like plastic caging going on right here. But getting towards the lateral side of the shoe, you have that white and black Nike sign. Then as you can see all throughout the shoe, you got yellow. Then it kind of turns gradient style into black. As you can see, it goes from like a light yellow. Then you have like a canary gold yellow. And then you have uh, black in the back. And this like all this cajun right here is made of plastic and as far as like how it feels it feels heavier as far as like running shoes go but you got to know that this shoe was like released a couple of years ago probably like 10 15 years ago so it's going to be a little bit more bulkier than current shoes that are out right now but getting towards the back of the shoe you got that signature tn logo right here and this back right here it's a little bit of durabuck so that's a nice little transition then getting towards the medial side of the shoe, it looks exactly like the lateral side of the shoe. And as far as the insole goes, the insole is pretty decent. It has an all yellow insole and then it has like a um, picture of a cassette tape and it says just do it. Because this shoe is also part of the frequency pack where it gives homage to old hip hop like styles and stuff like that using the cassette tape as an example. Getting into the lacing of the shoe, it's your standard Air Max Plus lacing. Um, as far as the laces go, you get like a yellow and black lace, nothing really special on the tips, but as you go all the way up, it has like these little like yellow lines that go throughout the shoe. I don't see any 3M present on this shoe. So when you're running the night, cars could necessarily not see you, but since this shoe is so like loud and bright with the yellow, I don't really think you'll have a problem with that. But towards the top of the tongue, you have that Nike Air logo right there. Getting into the midsole of the shoe, you have your standard um, Air Max Plus midsole. It goes from black. You have this yellow like midsole right here. This is not carbon fiber. And then as you can see all throughout the shoe, you have these like Air Max units. It goes from white, white, then it goes from yellow. And on the medial side of the shoe, you have a little bit of red in there as well. As far as sizing goes with this shoe, Brandon, what would you suggest? Uh, honestly, you can you can wear your actual shoe size with this shoe. Um, I will say, with me being a flat-footed person, it is kind of tight feeling from the middle middle to the bottom of the shoe. But honestly, you can you can wear it fit the size. Um, it is very comfortable, as you can see. I kind of loosen up on the lace a little bit. And once I put it in there, it made a big difference. Uh, also, with me being flat-footed, it doesn't really lean to either one side. It's pretty much a flat surface kind of shoe. And so it, it was very comfortable. So I could say you could wear it fit the size. Good size and suggestion. This shoe retail at $160. And Brandon, how did you come across your pair? Uh, I was I was looking at an article, uh, I believe, on the Nike website. I think it was talking about Drake was getting ready to get them. And yellow was actually my favorite color. I was looking for a yellow pair of Air Max anyway since I'm a big Air Max person. And when I saw these was coming out on the 15th and my birthday was around that time, I, I felt like it was a perfect purchase. All right, got you. Um, I don't know if you know, but like this came out, some Air Max 95s came out, and also another like Air Max came out, and they all had the same color. It was all like part of the frequency pack. What made you get this shoe out of those three shoes? Because it had majority of the yellow. Um, also, me being, you know, a lighter skinned kind of person, I feel like the yellow really complements my skin tone when I wear them. And out of out of the frequency pack, this one had majority of the yellow on it. Uh, it kind of took it easy on the black, which I really like because, that, like I said, that yellow part is really what I was looking to get out of the shoe. Got you. Now, without further ado, here's an on-foot look of the Nike Air Max Plus frequency pack. Cocaine, hustle like book 
what we been on. Pirates whooping, flipping in the kitchen. Can't tell you who put me on. Boss big and soda, look red and gold. Cut it up, watch it all, decompose. Run it up in the streets is to the coat. Money done, money coming off a of dope. Switch it up, niggas change one of clothes. And I saw that thing to make your eyes low. What you ain't got bread, you can keep the neck in your little pussy. I just want the dough. Niggas act like hoes, claiming nigga rope. Talking out loud just to make a show. I let it spray, knowing where you stay. Bennies in tape, trying to beat the case. Hit the freeway, going out of state. Headed to the city like I'm D-Wade Playing young and mate Listen to her say She just caught a body on a mixtape Ooh, 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 ooh Since this is Brandon's first time on my channel, we gotta ask him a couple okay. questions so you guys can get to know him better. First question, um, what organizations are you in? It's cause I know you're in college. Uh, currently, I am a part of Black Male Initiative. I serve as the current director of mentoring for the organization. I'm also the president of the Brothers Organization, which is another Black Male Community Service org home, and I use campus. Gotcha. Second question, um, what's your favorite pair of shoes and why? It has to be the shoes we just reviewed. Okay. Because once again, it's, it's it's in my favorite color. Anybody that knows me personally know I have a deep love for the color yellow. And it's also my favorite pair because it, it's under the Air Max series, which is almost about to be one of my favorite pair of Nikes under like Hirachis. Because Air Max is so comfortable. They're good for walking, working out, running. I mean, you can do anything in those shoes. They're like a lifetime pair. So the ones we just reviewed, I, I have to go ahead and give it to them. That's probably the favorite pair in the stack right now. Got you. And lastly, um, Nike versus Adidas. Which one do you like? Personally, I don't want to be biased towards Nike. I haven't had as much Adidas gear to get them a good review. But so far, I, I would give it more than Nike. It's kind of more the popular brand. They make a lot of better things as far as shoes. So I'll, I'll give it to Nike. So you give them to Nike? Okay. Yeah, I give All it right. to Nike. Got it. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Also, comment down below what do you think of this shoe? Is it trash? Is it good? Like, do you like the shoe at all? Just comment that down below and we can top it up in the comment section. Also, this is Brandon's first time on YouTube. Go ahead and put that down below. Comment. See how he did. Please. Please. <laughs> he would appreciate it and I would appreciate it. Um, so, this being your first time, how, how did you like it? I enjoyed it. Um, it's something different. I never was a big, huge sneaker type of person, but with this being my favorite pair in my stack right now, I feel like it would be good to talk about them. It's kind of a comfort zone breaker because I never saw myself on YouTube, especially not doing shoes. Gotcha. So. And also give me your um, social media info. Once again, you can follow me on Instagram at Brandon underscore Robinson922 and also on Snapchat at EST underscore 92295. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit subscribe. That, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Takes nothing but a couple of seconds and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. And I'm going to let you tell them goodbye, man. All right, goodbye, signing out. Stay tuned for more shoe reviews coming. There's a lot of nice kicks coming in 2019, also at the end of 2018. Make sure you stay in tune. All right, bet.